Hello from Patina Farm. I hope you all are safe and well. I thought we would do a video tour of our guest house today. So why don't you follow me? We're planting a new lavender field. Um, it's just in process right now. So uh, none of the mulch is down and you can see that we irrigate it uh, through a drip system but it will be beautiful next year. So we lined both sides of the path to the guest house in lavender. It's gonna smell amazing. This is our little guest house. We did another pair of the glass doors, which I love on this house because it looks they're so much bigger than the house is. And um, it kind of has that, uh, you know how babies are really cute because their um, features are so big? I think that works the same way on little houses as well. The original design didn't have this little porch on it. But um, when we were building, we realized that our uh, guest house faces west and it was just, uh, the sun was just blasting in. So we decided to add this little porch and it has a stupendous view of our um, greenhouse and uh, the donkey area and now this great uh, uh, meadow as well. And of course the pond really some of the best views in that in on our property are from this vantage point. So why don't we go in? As you can see, we did a little um, floor on the porch out of just scaffolding planks. They have the perfect vibe for the guest house, which is a little bit more rustic than the rest of our house. Welcome to our guest house. So we used the same antique beams, barn beams in this, in this structure as we did in our main house. And we framed the little kitchen in the barn beams. We made a little seating area around our fireplace right here. And again, we used the same stone as is in the, the rest of the house. We'd like to tell stories about our, our structures. We uh, make up stories actually. And the story we made up about our guest house was that it was an artist studio. So we collected um, a lot of antique or vintage landscape paintings, kind of with the idea that the artist in residence painted them. That's the story we told at least. Some of these uh, are from local artists and some of them are vintage. The kitchen is really a, a simple little kitchen. It has a nice burner and the countertop is antique zinc. And then we just use the same cedar that we stained with um, Super Deck, uh, which color is Weathered it? gray. Weathered gray. Thank you, Steve. And then there's a little pantry next to it that houses a bunch of pots and all of that stuff as well. And we have a little refrigerator so people can make themselves at home. There's also a coffee maker in the pantry as well. So really people can feel like they're not imposing on us or bothering us. They have their whole little life here in, in the guest house. We filled the guest house with some of our favorite antiques, a little Italian piece that we filled with some of the plaster pieces from Giannetti Studio, and some other little knickknacks that we found. And then like in our house, there are some modern features in the guest house as well. So because this is such a gorgeous view, we didn't put any panes on this glass. 
it's just sheets of glass that open up to this little sitting area, which is a lovely place to have a um, coffee or to end the day with a glass of wine, looking out at the, the views. You can see that it also has this gorgeous view of the other um, like really old ancient oak trees that are on our property. Uh, they're about 300 to 350 years old. And we also have a, a raccoon family that lives in there as well that uh, come and visit too. You gotta watch them a little bit. And then there's the little bedroom as well. Some of Steve's paintings above the bed, which is just um, a simple linen headboard that we made. And then two Swedish tables on either side that, that change out as we sell them to clients or on our website. Um, and again, they have this glorious view to the outside framed by the two oak trees and a little sitting area. Like the rest of our house, the guest house bathroom um, doesn't have any uh, built-in cabinetry. We just repurposed a little Swedish piece for the sink base, and then we did some storage behind the mirror. And then we used the same stone on the floor, the limestone, French limestone, that we used in our house, and that's in the whole um, bathroom. And we did the same uh, stucco, outdoor stucco, in the shower, so it's waterproof. So there's no tile in this bathroom, just like uh, the other bathrooms in the house. And again, we used all old doors in here, all old French pine doors in here. There's a pair that close off the, ba uh, the bedroom to the main space as well. We use the same plaster registers, uh, plaster, uh, yeah, grills from Pacific Register that we use in the rest of the house. And then everything is covered in a natural linen, which is really easy to clean and wash. And then there's a TV behind this painting right here. So they can uh, watch TV and movies, whatever. And that's the tour. Again, you can always ask questions in the uh, comment section on Instagram. And uh, let's see, if you have any other questions, you can always check out our books, Patina Farm about the building of this house, Patina Living about the gardens and living with our animals and other things that we've learned while we've lived here for seven years. And then there's also our first book, Patina Style, which is all about our design philosophy. All of our books are available on our website, gianettihome.com, as well as on Barnes and Noble and other book sales um, uh, websites. Um, I hope you all are well. Goodbye from Patina Farm.